What superpower would you like to have? Flying, super speed, reading minds, invisibility, or maybe a night vision? What if I tell you that it's all suck when we are talking about putting your wetsuit by yourself? I would be very glad to be able to put my wetsuit in a matter of seconds. The wetsuit for open water swimming is not the same that wetsuit for surfing, for example. If you've never put a wetsuit by yourself, you should definitely try it. Today I will show you how to put on a wetsuit for open water swimming. It's not that easy as you might think. I got lots of things to teach you and to show you, but let's start from the very beginning. In this episode, I want to tell you a bit more about my great passion. Open water swimming. I'll show you how I swam across the Dnipro River in Ukraine with the Olympic champion in swimming, Jana Klachkova. And then I'll teach you to put your wetsuit by yourself. Of course, if you don't have the relevant superpower. In that race, we were supposed to swim about 500 meters and it was held in Kyiv almost a year ago and by that time I had already got the cross-continental swimmer status. After swimming across Bosphorus Channel with a distance of 6.8 kilometers and it was pretty hard. Here you can watch the episode about my Turkish Bosphorus swimming competition. But what's important is that who swam with me? Jana Klitschkova. Olympic champion. She organized that race with her friends in support of Ukrainian Swimming Federation. And of course I was down for that at once. So that race was great. I even gave a couple of interviews to some of Ukrainian TV channels. But there was one problem while I was swimming. I couldn't make strokes freely, you know? And that was because I put my wetsuit in a wrong way. So my right shoulder was a bit blocked and I got tired at once. And now I want to demonstrate you how it should be in the right way. So you can put wetsuit by yourself with no problems. Handle your wetsuit carefully. Use gloves if you're trying it on for the first time to protect the suit from fingernails. Since I don't have the gloves, I'm doing it twice as careful as I can. With a zip at the back, put your foot into one of the legs of the suit and pull it up for your leg, pulling from below the knee, gradually moving the axis of neoprene upwards. When past the knee, put the other leg in and repeat, moving the neoprene up from the bottom of your leg towards the top. The trick is to get the wetsuit as high up your legs as possible before you start pulling it up your body. A good tip is to put plastic bag on your feet. Then as you put your feet in your wetsuit legs, the wetsuit will easily slide up your legs. The bottom of your wetsuit legs need to be a good 2 or 3 inches up your leg and just on the bottom of your calf. Continue to put a wetsuit up over the hips and bum. Ensure a close fit around the grain with no sagging gusset. Now pull the wetsuit up your body to do the same with the arms as you did with your leg. Put one arm in the suit and move the neoprene sleeve back up your arm. With the wetsuit sleeve, edge back behind your wrist bone. Gradually move neoprene back working from your wrist to your shoulders, getting it right into your armpits. Actually better to put off your watches before putting on the wetsuit. I do it very often, so I know how to do it right, but I recommend to put off uh, your watches first and then to put on your wetsuit, okay? Do it very gently, because you can tear your wetsuit. Preparing it is not a very easy process, you know. Once past the elbow, put your other arm in its sleeve and repeat. Take your time. This helps avoid suit damage and aids getting a good fit. Get your assistant to zip you up as you stand up straight and flex your shoulders backwards. When pulling the zip up, 
You may want to hold the bottom of the zip to make the zipper run easier. Fasten the Velcro neck seal. Now make small adjustments to the suit, if necessary, to improve the fit and flexibility. Bend over slightly forwards and gently pull the neoprene from your stomach upwards a bit at a time towards your neck. This lifts a wet suit up your front and lowers the back to stop it pulling and reduce chafing on the neck. Ensure the neck and zip neoprene is lying flat too. This is a common cause of chafing. And guys, what you definitely need in a cold water like this in Portugal, uh, the temperature is about 14 degrees now, and uh, so you will need uh, earplugs. That's for sure. I cannot swim without them. And ch uh, always check whether they are fixed or not, because you can lose them in the water. I got Arena Cobra. I like this model very much. And of course, a swimming cap. This uh, swimming cap I got when I uh, swam across the Bosphorus Channel in Turkey, Istanbul. Ideally, your wetsuit should feel compressive but not restrictive on a dry land. Leave the suit on for at least 10 minutes while the neoprene begins to relax and get a better idea of it. If you have picked a good quality swim wetsuit, it will move with you. Two areas where the fit needs to be right is the torso length and the waist. If the suit is too long or baggy on the waist, Water collects here as you swim, and this is not good. And now it's time to test it. So I think we are ready, and let's try it out. Give it all you got, no hesitating. You've been waiting all your life. This is your moment. difficult to swim because of the wave. If you would like to know more about open water swimming and swimming for beginners, I will do this for you. Lastly, getting the wetsuit off. Your wetsuit might fit closely, but for instance, for triathlons you need also need to get off quickly. It's easier when the suits are wet, so don't despair. Never use Vaseline or oils to lubricate. You can use a liquid soap instead. Unzip your wetsuit fully, peel off the shoulder and pull each arm out, peeling the wetsuit inside out in the process. Peel the wetsuit off like a banana, leaving it inside out. At home, very important that you Wash the wet suit, not in the uh, sea water. And the uh, pen somewhere in order it will dry out. My wet suit did a very big journey across all the Europe to me. Let's go to our apartments. We'll see what we got. My sneakers. It's my wetsuit. And it means that we will swim. Oh my god. And soon I'm gonna swim in Madeira. And I'm looking forward to doing that and filming a couple of episodes there for our digital nomad community. By the way, join it. All the links are below and subscribe. You know that Ukraine has been invaded by Russians and your support is vitally important. Beautiful, independent, sovereign country with 40 million people. But on 24th of February at 4 a.m. our Ukraine suddenly got bombed by Russian missiles. And Russian military troops crossed their national borders all along the entire perimeter, except of western one. I was not in Ukraine that day, but I got 
probably the most unexpected message in my life from my parents and friends. The war has just begun. Ukraine has been invaded by Russian Federation. Thousands of civilian people were killed already because of the missiles and heavy artillery. Thousands of civilian buildings, museums, hospitals, kindergartens and schools were completely destroyed. Hundreds of women were raped in front of their children's eyes and killed after that. It must not have happened to any country in the world in 21st century. But it did. You can find the link below the video and help Ukraine with just one click from any country in the world by the global initiative of Ukrainian president, United24. Every single dollar, every single hashtag matters a lot. Please, stand with Ukraine. That's it. Watch this video next and subscribe to my channel. Hit it.